There will be many times when you need to create what is called a polygon. A polygon is a multi-sided closed shape. In AutoCAD, it's also a polyline. There is a command called polygon. With this command, you can draw shapes from three sides all the way up to 1,024 sides. Typically, you would probably only want to draw about three to maybe 10 sides. And there is a case where you want to draw 360 sides, which is essentially a circle. But it's good to know that you have options available to you. You can type the word polygon right on the command line. Or you can use the command alias, which is just P-O-L. It's also found here on the ribbon. Polygon. Now it's very simple. You enter in the number of sides you want. So if you want to draw a pentagon, you would type in the number 5 and press enter. And now you need to pick the center of your polygon. And you have an option, an inscribed in the circle or circumscribed about a circle. So what do those mean? Well, what the difference is and what this means between an inscribed or circumscribed is that we have a circle. Just imagine you have a circle. Let's give it a radius of five units. And you want to draw a polygon. We want it to be five sides, and the center of your polygon will match the center of the circle. The inscribed method will draw the hexagon inside the circle, and a circumscribed polygon, or hexagon in this case, will draw the shape on the outside. So think inside. As you can see, while I go to pick my point of where I want it, I can type in the radius, which would match the radius of the circle, and I would pick my location. So I can snap with an NEA or a near, and I will pick anywhere on this circle. And there's my pentagon. Now if I start the polygon command again with five sides, match the center of the circle, and instead of inscribed, I'll go circumscribed. When I pick somewhere on that circle or use the same radius, the polygon is on the outside of the circle. So those are the two differences. The inscribed will draw the shape in this case a hexagon, from one of the vertices, or the vertex. The circumscribed will pick from the midpoint of one of the edges. So depending on the information you have and what you're trying to draw, that will determine your method of drawing it. Now there's another method as well. And when you put in the number of sides, this option comes up. Instead of picking your center point right away, you can type in the letter E or click on the edge. Now this will draw the polygon in a very different way. It will draw it based on your edge length. So I pick my first point, and that acts as a pivot point for my shape. And now I can type in the distance for that leg or side, and then I can type in the angle. I type in five for five units, press tab, and I'll type in the degrees, 90 degrees, so this leg will be straight up. And there you go. So you really have three different ways to draw a polygon. And you can make it any number of sides. Remember, it can be as few as three, but no more than 1,024. Pick a point, inscribe. And here is my octagon. So there are a lot of different ways to draw a polygon. And a polygon is really just a closed polyline. Once you draw it, it doesn't retain its shape if you grip at it anything. Once I make changes, that shape is no longer what it was when I first created it.